Sports Shots now catching up with Buckingham Athletic Manager Neil Griffiths after Sunday's 4-1 defeat at White Ensign in the first round proper of the FA Vars. Neil, disappointing afternoon? Yeah, of course, it's, it's not nice. It's a, it's a long way to come and get beat. Um, game was maybe slightly even than the scoreline suggests. Um, got no complaints with the loss. I thought they were they were stronger in terms of probably both of the boxes. Um, and it's frustrating. You know, it's frustrating. It's, it's not nice to come over 4-1 loss. You, you, you're quite happy that you've lost. You're not... Um... You don't think that you've been hard done by, or so you're not happy I lost. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, you know. but no, in, in, in terms of, uh, it, it's a challenge we, we've put on the lads for a little while. I, I just think there's, uh, you know, there's certainly not a lack of desire, but but I just think there's times where where they'll throw bodies on the line and they're, they're physically a little bit stronger. I wouldn't go as far as say we've been bullied, but in key moments they put balls into the box. We didn't quite clear. They were first to it. Um, and they scored at some good times. The game was even, and they've gone and taken the game 2 0. Um, we come out, they go 3 0, but then we go 3 1 straight away, and we have another all right spell, and, and then the game gets away of us with a fourth. Yeah. Um, really pleased we didn't give up because at 4 1, does it become 5, 6, and 7? Not at all. I thought, again, we, we were asking questions, probably not good enough ones, but, but we were certainly looking to get back into the game. So, frustrated, disappointed, but we go again. You mentioned they scored at key times for the first. I can't remember what time the first goal was, 20, 20 30 minutes. It yeah. was fairly even, chances either end. Um, but then they scored two in six minutes to go in 2 0 at half time. It must have been a late sucker punch, a, a different dressing room at half time to what you thought you were drifting towards. Yeah, and, and that's the bit. I, I, I did speak about those little moments that when a game, you know, certainly at this stage of the bars or in the FA bars, you come away to, to a good side. Um, you know, and we haven't been blown away, but just at right moments, you know, we, we've had a couple of half chances. We sort of had one skim off the bar and had a couple of bits that they took theirs and we didn't. And all of a sudden it looks like we've come away and been handed a bit of a beating when I don't think that's quite fair. But I would say that they took their chance with a bit more desire than what we probably did. What did you say at half time in the dressing room? Just to stick to some of the plan, I thought, I thought they they were they had four two four. I wouldn't say they were necessarily direct, but they played quite quickly into the front four, and they left their centre backs isolated at times. I thought we could have hurt them a little bit better, um, and then obviously halfway through we changed to a, a three four three just to try and give it a go and, and do something a little bit different. How frustrating is it? You you got fifteen minutes with them in the dressing room at half time, try and turn it round. You come out and within a minute you've you've conceded again. How frustrating is that from the sidelines for you? It, it's, it's not nice. It, it happens within football. It's, it's not something that, that's good enough. Um, as part of again, I talk about the key times. That that's a spell for me that we should be a little bit better at. Um, we come out, you keep it two 0 All of a sudden, we spoke a bit about you go and get yourself back in the game two one. Um, and actually, when we scored, my biggest frustration was that should have been the goal that made it two one. And then all of a sudden, thirty minutes to go. Like I said, I'd have taken the draw because it's a long way for them to have come on the Tuesday, as, as we found out last season. Um, but like I say, that, that goal and, and just takes it away from us. You get it back to 3-1 and then Chris Parr has that shot flashed across the penalty box, narrowly wide of the far post. That goes in 3-2. Do you think that would have changed the game? Yeah, but spoke again at half time. Momentum is very, very important in football. You know, it, it can take you a long way. I think when we went 2 0 or the first goal not not the stuff in it and they got the second one quickly, I think if we'd have gone three two, all of a sudden that becomes a very interesting end to the game. Um, we didn't and, and all of a sudden like I say it, it changes, it becomes four one, whereas they're sort of I say half chances, but the, the chances they had they took. Usual group chat on the pitch at the end of the game, what have you said to the boys? A lot of what I've said now to be honest, you know, we need to be better at that. Um we have to make sure there isn't a knock-on effect. Tuesday becomes very quickly now, um, and, and look, we we still want to get promoted. That's our aim. You know, the win last week knocks it down from ten to eight points, so we've gained a little bit. Um, and we need to make sure that all the disappointment and it's a long two and a half hours for that to fester is out of our system. It's a it's a fresh start on Tuesday, and we go again. You mentioned Tuesday. Is that a game that you you're happy to have on Tuesday, or would you rather have a longer break now? No, I'd, I'd want a game straight away, 100%. You know, any game, you know, for me, it gives us a chance to get out of the system. One of the good things is with football, it does very quickly change as low as we feel. And we've had some stages at, at this season where we felt really low, and we should be experienced enough to know that it changes very quickly. You know, we go and get a win on Tuesday, climb myself another couple of places back up. All of a sudden, Saturday becomes interesting, and, and we carry on. It must be a test because you've had to drag. 14, 15 players down here on a Sunday. They've got, surely got family things to do and then they've got 48 hours rest and then they've got to be in, is it Middlesex, for half past six on Tuesday night. How much of a drag is that on the squad? 
it's, you know, it's, it's part and parcel. I, I was fortunate enough to have 21 players to pick from today. We're back to full strength, so that there's no issue there. And, and for me, it's the level we sign up to. You know, if you want your 20 minute journeys, then you go and play local football. You know, we get to play at some very good grounds. We're a very good football club where we get looked after. So. It, you know, it's not an excuse. It's part of it that we finish work and we go straight down to Amersham. Not an issue. You're not on a bad run of form of late. I mean, you've won. Is it four in the last seven? So you're not in a bad run of form. And then obviously next Saturday, Barks and Bucks Senior Trophy. Is that now priority? I think it's one of the cups that we, you know, in terms of places we want to go and win. Absolutely. You know, we are along with lots of Winslow and, and Long Crendon. Um, you know, That's not going to be an easy game. No, Saturday, it's not. It? And and but I'd, for me, I'd prefer that. Um, not because it's, it's certainly going to be it, but you go to some of these games and we found out a great hall would, you know, that the occasion and everything, you get a lower team that has a, a real big desire to go a bit, and they become tricky. I think us going to play at Oxford City and playing against a good side makes it feel almost like a league game. Um, so so I, I, I have no problem. That's part of the season. Whether they're low, down, high, whatever, we've got to find ways of winning. You know, it's, it's, we don't react to that. We, we do what we've got to do to win the game of football. Do you find it easier to go and play on 3G or does it not make any difference? For me, I think nowadays, I think there's a generation coming through that are very used to it. Um, it's part and parcel again of, of, of what this level of football is like. I understand the revenue that it generates for clubs. Um, you know, you, you either get with it or, or you, know, you end up making excuses. So look, if it's 3G, it's 3G, not a problem. I had a look this morning, you're 16th in the South Midlands Division 1 league table. Um, but you've got three or four games in hand on some of those above you. You're 11 points off the top four. Still doable? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I made it overall that it, it would be eight if we won our game. So, so for me, you know, eight points with 87 points to go, it's, it's a long, long way. Look, the winter period changes. You know, some teams are winterproof, some aren't. I would like to think that as the weather's turned, we've had our best numbers at, at training that. I've been at this club now for over a year, so I know that we do get through winter quite well. Um, so we'll see what that brings in, and we just keep chipping away. If you know, if that gets down to to six, to five, to four, or something that coming out of Christmas, it's it becomes an achievable game or two, um, and we see where we go. But it's, it's a decent group. It's frustrating. It's tough. Games like today don't don't sit well. It's not nice. But I said it, there's a long, long way. You know, there's seven months of football left. You know, there's a lot to go. You finished the end of last season um, really well, finishing fourth place. High hopes for this season. Yeah. What what's What's made it such a struggle so far this start? Um, I think we, we've made mistakes in terms of you know players that I believe that are good players that maybe haven't done as well as what they could do. Um, we've had a personnel shift around some players that have come in and have moved on. I think that sort of unsettled us. But look, you know, we, we... I looked this morning, mm. and in the twelve games you've played in all competition, you've used thirty-six different players. Yeah. Is it? Is that a regular thing or? No, I, I think that there's a couple of things to it. I think there's there's a use of the whole football club. You know that there's development players that have come in and done really well. So on, on one hand, I'd say that's a positive. The fact that we've got a fantastic group of players to pick from at both first and development level. On the negative side, we, we've had players that have come in and left, and that, you know, that's part of the game. Again, I'm I'm not high beyond that. That's football. It happens. Um, what's done is done, and, and we've got a group now with of twenty twenty one players at the club that, that want to kick on and, and get us up that league and you're still enjoying yourself at the club absolutely it's football yeah you know, I, you know, I enjoy it you know that the support we've had has been brilliant you know and and, and look, understandably we, we want to be up there we haven't had the start we wanted i won't hide you know that's that's the fact and i think the club have been brilliant with that i think it would have been a lot easier to to make things uncomfortable and, and tony and the rest of the committee have been absolutely superb and, and look, we just keep working hard and we get to where we want to be well commiserations today i'm sure there's a beer waiting for you in the bar and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon cheers there